to Welcome into Brigham City, Utah, and the Tournament of Champions. We've got the Senior Women's Pro Double Final coming to you from the John A. Gold Metal, metal Court. Dane Stewart here. Please be joined by Stephanie Lane. And Stephanie, eight. we've got what should be a fantastic championship match coming up. Oh, you can't be any more correct there, Dane. This is going to be so exciting with these super players who are... They don't even resemble senior seniors, but they are, they're, they're called that. We've got uh, a great duo. So we'll start with Bonnie Williams, Chris Anderson. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about this team, strengths, weaknesses, and their turn or their path to get here to the championship match. Well, I played them a little bit earlier, Dane, and uh, Bonnie and Chris are two powerhouses who love to drive the ball, uh, but they can also play the soft game. So uh, look for... Um, Look for Chris Anderson to step in there and take over with that forehand, and Bonnie will do her job as well. They're going up against a duo, Jennifer match, Dawson, Cammie uh, McGregor, who have been tough all tournament long. They sure are. They are um, coming in from the winner's side, and you may or may not know that Jennifer Dawson is the number one singles player in the Amber world Lickless for her Brandon age Hyatt. in tennis. In the world. Lori Duncan and, and you'll see that Hyatt. a lot in pickleball. A lot Duncan, of former Hyatt. tennis players, current Versus tennis Lickless. players. It's a Hyatt. game that translates pretty well from the Kirsten more common game of tennis. It really does. The ground strokes are already there. The volleys are the same. Just a little bit of change on the serve, and then you got to learn how to do that, what we call the dink, which is hitting that ball in that unattackable zone right there in the kitchen. You mentioned that kitchen, the no volley zone, seven feet from each side of the net. That's a, such a key strategic area of the court. We should have a fantastic match coming up for you. We're just in the final stages of warm-up. We'll step aside and be back with the championship match coming up after this. Yeah, this is... Oh, we're in it. Yeah. Are we? My apologies, we're in it. No I... worries. Yeah, this, they're already uh, two points in here. I'm not even sure the score. So I think I heard 0-3 is that one into the net. We'll move to the second serve here. The point awarded there. Our score now one, three, two. The wind has picked up a little bit, Dane, so that is a little bit of an issue. That one drifts out. You talk about that wind and boy, tough to feel on the floor on the court. We're right court side. You have a feeling that that wind coming from our back certainly could have helped push that ball wide as I see coming up to that no volley zone and that one in the net. Three, one, two. Great speed on that return from Dawson. Is oh, a little bit of confusion there in the middle. Not sure whose ball that was in the middle there. But they'll figure that out, I'm sure. So now, side out. One, three, one in service here. As you see Dawson McGregor up at that no volley zone, and now Anderson Williams able to come up. That one landed in, I believe, Dane. Yeah, fantastic hit over the line. In fact, both of them, Williams and Anderson, both turned and gave it. Oh, <laughs> that close. One, three, two here. Oh, see, Chris trying to step in there with that forehand to cut that ball off and poach a little bit, but it was just short of the net. Side out, so back over to Jennifer Dawson for the serve. Bit of a loft, and that one was just wide. It was a great step in by Bonnie, seeing that ball floating over and stepping there and taking that forehand. What a great move by Bonnie Williams. 3 1 2 service. See, nice job here by Anderson trying to keep Dawson back. Now able to come up. You see that tennis in her, don't you? She's going to try to drive that ball any chance she gets, and she's very successful at that as well. One, three, one. Is points only going to the serving side. We've struggled here the last couple of serves to get points from service. Is now we move to the second service. We'd like to take Coming some time to thank Williams. another one of our many sponsors that have made this tournament possible today, Paddle Tech. Paddle Tech technology can be found in over 80% of the premium paddles sold today. 
Steve Palatek proud medal stands at the professional pickleball tournaments all over the world. There. Nice job of keeping that ball in play. Bonnie didn't do anything special. She just kept that ball nice and low and unattackable and in play. And customer service. We'd invite you all to come visit their their location just east of the restroom. You can tell these are tennis players, Dane. You yeah. see all that driving out there? Not much dinking going on. I was going to say a lot of speed, velocity that time between Williams and Dawson. And we we'll get the side out. And you know, Dane, as more tennis players move in, I mean, that's, we're gonna, that's what we're going to see, more, more driving. Point awarded there is... Now 4-2-1, our score oh, here. Get that, that cover right now, well, there's three games in the place. Oh, okay. Boy, a bit of a great placement by Chris Anderson. Just deep enough to get it right behind uh, Cammy's paddle there. 4-2-2. Two, two. Going into the net, and it's a side out. Two four one, and that one just unable to get over the top of the net. We'll move to the second serve. Two four two. Uh, Setting up that strike and a nice finish coming there from McGregor. Bonnie wanted to cut that ball off, but her paddle was angled just high enough to where it popped the ball up, and Cammy had the easy put away. job here again you see a couple times Williams was able to keep him back and then the point awarded is the return went into the net five two one five two one our score we have our we women's senior gold medal match playing right now on our center court that's our women's senior gold medal match some more uh, shots of the net and boy, that came up on McGregor quickly Cammy was trying to decide, should I play it or should I let it go? And she was kind of in between, wasn't she? Yeah. I hate those times. That's the part of this game that I think is really not appreciated. People in pickleball is the speed you can get, especially in that no volley zone. And it's such little time for a reaction. Point. See that one taking a nice return there by Dawson for the point. Bit of a lead here coming for Dawson McGregor leading 6 2 2. Oh, what a great absorption. Our next match will be a mixed doubles. I thought I was going to die short, but I was able to get over the net. 50 plus on court 16. A referee for the match will be Terry. Ah. When the net is your the friend, huh? That's Mr. right. Holstra and Mike Murray Just tipped over there. versus Peggy Bradley and Darren Ward. That's Bradley Ward. Versus Hope Scott Murray, two, six, one, our score here. Our referee is Terry. That's a freebie, what we call freebie, Dane. A missed return is a point for the other team. And they'll take that right now. Important points here for Williams and Anderson. Oh, she committed. And a nice recovery there by Williams, able to switch the side. Tried to send that down the line and ended up taking it off the back, off the return. And there's a side out. Well, you can just see Dawson. You mentioned, oh, and they actually called that out. That wasn't anywhere close to being out. You called it out. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we did. We had a... Line judge called that out, so 4 6 2 going to be our score here. 4 6 2. There's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, I missed that one. Yeah. 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 Great reflex there by McGregor. A couple of times now. Nothing settle up in that short game. See a couple uh, times trying to split them and yeah. just couldn't quite place it. There's the side. That was out. a great point. What great resets into the kitchen those ladies have with their hands. 
Great strategy. Six four one. Cammy McGregor on six four one service. She's a little bit off balance there. Just trying to make up for it. Almost pulled it off. Yeah. It's got to be so hard because she's running up to the kitchen and that ball gets on her so quickly to get that paddle in the right spot. Just barely missed it. Chris really comes over that ball so well that it really causes a lot of spin, Dane, and makes that ball pop up. And, and it's just a great shot that Chris has on that ball. 4 6 1. 4 6 1. Be Bonnie Williams to serve. That ball was long. Five, so we'll come back five. here, Williams and Anderson. Three Make unanswered points. Notice how she's keeping her back deep. Yeah. Good, good strategy there. Not letting her get to the net. Stephanie, you're a pickleball player. It seems like that's a can be a big key when you're receiving that service to try to keep the server back. Yes, that's what you try to do because really the, the game is won and lost from that non-volley zone line, that kitchen line we call it. And so if anytime you can keep a player back on the baseline, you have them right where you want them. And just trickles over the net. 6-6-2 six, six, the score. They've come all the way back. What good placement and tough for McGregor to catch up. Yeah. Finally did a good job of getting... Cammy to go backwards. Anytime your weight is going backwards when you're hitting that ball, Dane, that's that's not what you're hoping to do. You want to have that momentum going forward at contact, not backwards. 7-6-2, Williams and Anderson with the lead. We've got a timeout here. We'll be back after this. And welcome back. What a uh, final match we've had here in the Senior Women's Pro. As Bonnie Williams and Chris Anderson trailed here 2-6, and they've come all the way back to take a 7-6-2 lead here over Jennifer Dawson and Cammie McGregor. Stephanie, what's what's key right now? I mean, the momentum obviously in favor of Williams and Anderson. What, what do Dawson and McGregor need to do to get things turned back in their favor? I think they, they can't get into playing defensively. They've been playing so offensively the whole first game here. And for whatever reason, it kind of went to a defense mode. So let's see if they're able to uh, get that offensive mode back and, and get back on top. But what a great comeback by Bonnie and Chris. It was. I mean, you see the score 2 6, and you feel like, oh man, this one has in danger of getting away. But just point by point, they've chipped back and taken the lead here as you see Williams trying to keep Dawson and McGregor back and now trying to inch up in that one long. Bonnie had to make a split-second decision. Do you let it go or do you play it? And that was the right call by Bonnie Williams letting that ball go long. Six, seven, two. Six, seven, two here. Oh, nice Bonnie job. did a great job of, of getting them to pop that ball up just enough where she could attack it, Dane. Forcing the tempo and that return hit off of the first return. Forcing the side out here. Oh, good idea. And to the second service. We mentioned this is the final. Dawson McGregor have not lost. That is correct. Coming out of the winner's side. Williams and Anderson coming out of that loser's bracket. We've got some work to do to capture the championship here today. So if Bonnie and Chris are able to get the win in the first match, then we will go to a game to 15 to see who the Tournament of Champions, Senior Women's Champion will be. Point. Dawson tried to come back to that one, but hit the net and it's a point awarded 8-6. You know, Jennifer plays quite a bit off that kitchen line. I think if she was up there toes to that line, I don't think she would have missed that ball. She has such a great pair of hands. We have a mixed doubles match. 4.0, 50 and over. Anderson. On court number 11. Try to come with that power into the Court net side is out here as Cameron McGregor Towing, will take the service. And the referee for the match will be Michael. It is Kelly Short and Bob Tilly 
versus Lily Henkin and Bill Henkin. That's Henkin Henkin versus Shore Tilly. Court number 11, Michael is our referee. Nice shot there my, by McGregor, kind of taking some of the life out of that ball and allowing her to come up to that kitchen line. Yeah, Cammie hit several unattackable third shot drops that I thought she was going to be, um, uh, you know, coming to the net on, but she, she came at the right time for her. She made it work. Bonnie got the ball she wanted there, Dane. She got that high attackable forehand and put the hammer down. 7-8-2. Anytime Bonnie is getting to drive the ball, she is in her heyday. That is yeah. Bonnie's strength. So um, I think uh, Cammie and uh, Jennifer have gone away from the dinking for some reason, which is was proven to be successful for them. Nice return there by Dawson. And that one was close to the net is that will be Chris Anderson with service. 872. Oh wow. What we try to do in pickleball day is we try to find what our opponent's strengths are and take those away and focus on their weaknesses. And we're just not really seeing that yet in the second half of this first game. Seven, nine, one. Seven, nine, one service. Coming from Dawson. We're back to a deep game. And Dawson able to speed that one up real quickly and win the point. So that seems to be the secret sauce for Cammie and Jennifer is to get Bonnie and Chris in the deep game and then speed it up and cause the error. That was in there. It's a great, great hit. Roll. Great hit. Great backhand roll by Bonnie Williams. Splitting the pair and sending it long. 8 9 2 now. You know, she wants that one over again, Dane. It was sitting right there on that two-handed backhand. I was going to say, she's done so well with some of those higher velocity shots, getting some speed going, and that time just sent it into the net, and we're tied up. interesting they were staying back that time they were able to handle a lot of those power shots easier and then they came up and that one got on a little quickly quickly do you like them staying back where Anderson and Williams are trying to play with so much power well that's a great question it's, it's not the way I play but it's it seems to work for some players they like to stay back until they get the right ball but the men's final will be completely different from that. It'll be completely a dink game until somebody gets it just high enough, and then the point will be over. A little bit different than the women's. Side out there. 9-9-1 is Dawson with service. And a point awarded. And a timeout now taken. As Great Dawson job. McGregor will come back. Time out. Time out. Could not be more exciting, are we on? Ford Expedition 2015. It's been a match of runs here in our senior our women's match. pro double final. Double. Bonnie Williams, Chris Anderson, we're not against Jennifer Dawson, Kim and McGregor. Dawson McGregor led 6 2. Williams and Anderson came back to take a two point lead. In that. Now we've got Dawson McGregor leading here 10 9. Joey one. Martinez and Jeff Olson versus Megan Butler and Ben Butler. Butler and Butler versus Martinez Olson. Court number four. And this is where you tell yourself, Dane, don't do anything fancy. Just keep the ball in play until we can get the side out. Court 
Oh, Cammy got the ball she wanted, but yeah. she just couldn't quite do anything with it. But she did get the ball that she set up. She and Jennifer set up. An opportunity there by Williams, taking advantage of it without overhand. Nine, ten, one's our score. Couldn't be more exciting. Nail biter game, first game. This is good for a meal and a drink of either one place. That's going to be over. Oh. Boy, had a great opportunity. Yeah. Huh? McGregor a little off that kitchen line, and she's going to place it right in front of that net and left it. Trying to go for that short angle, which is a great idea because the ball set up high close to the net. That's a great placement there by Dawson, huh? Excellent placement. She got that attack of a ball. Oh, she didn't try to overhit it. She just put it right at the feet of her opponents. And what a great, smart shot. 10-9-1. Again, we're with McGregor on the service. That must have, must have stayed in, Dane. That was very close to the line. There's the game. 11 9 1 in favor of Dawson and McGregor. Miners, the best two out of three. We've got a couple minutes here. We'll step aside and be back with the second game of our Senior Women's Pro double final. Just moments away from. Second game here in our senior women's pro double final. Dane Stewart, Stephanie Lane here. Stephanie, what did you learn in that first game, and what's the plan of attack for these two teams in the second one? Well, you saw, like you said, it was just it was a, a game of momentum swings, and uh, Cammy and Jennifer got up, all, up early and were able to come back and and take care of the of the first game. So I think uh, it was working for Cammy and Jennifer to get the girls in a bang bang or in a uh, excuse me a dink game. And slow off the uh, the firing range here of Bonnie and Chris, who love to hit that ball with tennis swings. So we'll see if they continue to do that strategy or if they change it up. Just a heads up for those of you participating in our 3-0. Nice hit yeah. there by Just a Gregor. heads up for those of you participating in the 3-0. Uh, we will be it's so interesting how minutes. women's pickleball if, if has changed. It used to be a game of who could dink the longest. Uh, and now we may have points where we never see a dink, day. <laughs> well, there's one of them, right? Right there. Quick point coming there off the service and 2 0 2. The advantage for Dawson McGregor here. Great hands by Bonnie Williams. That ball was down at her feet and she was able to hit that ball over the net and keep it uh, enough unattackable where Jennifer made the year. That one stayed in. Yeah, I was going to say all the way back to that back line is that return then sails wide and we move to the second service. I have to mention here that Paula has done a great job uh, refing this game and she's a certified ref. You go through a series of um, test and uh, observations and so many matches have to be observed and she's done that and she's a great uh, female ref here for our senior women's doubles final. It's a position that in most sports really doesn't get the recognition that it deserves and people often complain about officiating and that's one of the things I love about pickleball is you don't really have that. It's a very gentleman, gentlemanly sport, right? It Where it's great sportsmanship on the court and She's done a fantastic job today in this finals match. She really has. I don't think she's had to call one footfall into the non-volley zone yet. What a recovery by Dawson, huh? What a great shot. So tough. And you have a good look right there. The way she was able to return and then come right back with velocity. And 3-0-2. Now our score. So right now trying to keep them back as now McGregor and Dawson try to come up. And Dawson looks like she might have had a little petition thought that something may have went long, but 
She kept pointing back there, but I never saw anything really official on it. The lines people are keeping an eye on the on their uh, li specific lines. They're only responsible for one line, and so uh, they're doing a great job of, of calling those balls. Which is a volunteer position, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Zero three two here. Don't hit the net. McGregor able to fend it off. Dawson in a bit of a battle there with Williams, and the first point awarded in this game to Williams Anderson. This one tried to send over the head. Nice recovery by Williams. What hands, look at this point. Oh. Oh. So I was mistaken, the line judges are paid and so are the referees and plus they're lodging. So that is a great touch that the John Gullo uh, put in place for the Tournament of Champions. We have nothing but the best here, Dane. That's what you want, right? If you're gonna run a legitimate yes. tournament, which this certainly has been going on for years here in Utah. And been a fantastic event for a long time as we've got a side out here and 3-2-1 our score. Yeah, John Gullo had the vision many years ago to um, have a money tournament and even though there are several these days that have picked up, he had the first one and uh, it's such a great event and love being a part of it. And Stephanie, you're one of those who comes from mighty Nashville, Tennessee <laughs> out for this event. So it's one that has pulled people from all over the country and you get great competition here, great facility, and fantastic support by John Golo and the near community to help make this one of the best pickleball tournaments in the country. It really is. And it's, this is not an easy place to get to from Nashville. I never can get a direct <laughs> flight from Salt, to Salt Lake City. so But it's worth it, and I'm always so glad when I come. The next match will be a mixed that doubles, just skill 3.0. Boy, oh, had a great Eight, opportunity two, 49 right there. and 50 and over. Instead Court side number six, out. our referee for the match will be Rick. Court six is sponsored by Pickleball Central. Two, three, one, our score. Chelsea Neville and Tate Klein versus Kristen Floyd and Egg Eggerman. That's Floyd uh -oh. Eggerman. Neville. You think the sun had a little bit Klein. to do with that or the wind? Well, something. Rick is our <laughs> you could tell that McGregor wasn't very happy with the way that ball was struck. He was ready early for that. Right. Little way. Something just went a little bit awry on her. What a great spot that was. You see how she was able to hit a downward motion on that ball? That's what we call a tackable ball. So the job of, of the opponents is to make that unattackable, not to give Cammie those high putaways that she can hit from a high to a low you know, stroke. We want our opponents hitting low to high against us, not high to low. Versus Gina Carpenter and C.J. Wilson. That's Carpenter Wilson. Side out there. Versus Yeoman. The Fantastic group. hit there. Court number seven. By our referee is Bob. McGregor setting it up. And Jennifer Dawson now on the service. 3-3-1. Three, three, oh. I thought that one was going to get over. I did too. I think the wind just knocked that one down. <laughs> just the last second. That one's way long. You know, some people like uh, me and maybe Cammy, we have to do, deal with an altitude change when we come to play here. And there we go, another one. How does that affect the ball? I mean, it's, it's things a, fly okay. easier here. Yeah, high altitude. Um, what is it? About five thousand feet here, something like that. I think it's just shy. It's about that. And it, it's a little bit of a, a adjustment if you're not used to that. Side out here is. Comes back, I'll tell you, we're, we're fortunate. We've had some severe smoke in Utah the last couple of weeks, and they're certainly not as bad as it's been. And that's a positive thing for players and onlurkers. It's this one into the net from Dawson. Maybe that's the silver lining with this wind right. blowing it out of here because it was hazy earlier and you could really smell it in the air, but yeah. it's the, the, lifted a little bit. That one sent long. Just a little bit long. So the lead retaken by Dawson McGregor, 4 3 2.
So I guess Bonnie was sitting on her forehand, wanting a forehand, and they were able to get it to her backhand and, and catch her a little bit by surprise there. Timeout going to be taken here, 5-3-2 in the Senior Women's Pro Double Final. Um, it's going to be tough. we got a $3,600 fight. Okay. Okay, we'll definitely set that in. Silver. 5-3-2 here in our Senior Women's Pro Double Final. Coming to you from the John A. Goal Medal Corps at the Tournament of Champions here in Brigham City, Utah. Bonnie Williams, Chris Anderson. Going to come out of the one loss bracket against Jennifer Dawson, Kim and McGregor. Dawson McGregor won that first game 11 9. Leading here in the second. It will be on court number 12, and court 12 is sponsored by Edwards Jones. Our referee for the match will be Byron. You see where Bonnie put that at the feet of her opponents? What a great spot. And far back, so you take away the easy return. Yeoman and Matt DeGroot. Fantastic job. Yeoman DeGroot. Nice team Versus serve by Chris Leong, Anderson. Leong, court number 12, uh, referee was Byron. You know, I like to buy a six pack of those little net dribblers, uh, Dane, and use them sparingly throughout the match. Oh, maybe you need to go to Costco, see if you can't get them in bulk. <laughs> they would be worth a pretty penny, I'm telling you. <laughs> no it. kidding, huh? Look in that kitchen right now, that one. Boy, maybe a point given away there by McGregor. Does it look like an easy dink, but maybe she was just trying to get back into position there. She's thinking about it. She's going to regroup right here and shake that off. You have to let those mistakes go, Dane, and not get too focused on on mistakes. You have to focus on the next point and let it go. I learned to say the word next. Just think about the next point. Another one there, and it's now 5-5-2, five, five, I believe. Yeah. So maybe Bonnie and Chris are paying attention. That's two missed dinks on the backhand side by Cami. Try to do that again. Instead, it's a side out. And one of the interesting things we mentioned that comeback in that first game from Williams and Anderson. Oh, it is? Able to take the lead, and there was a timeout by Doss McGregor. They came out and handled things in that first one. And you wonder if maybe a use of another one. Didn't need it. Able to put it in a tough spot and a point awarded there. Sometimes nice. it's just clearing that, that head, right, of That's right. some of the previous events. That's right. See, new game, new match. It'll still be my tournament. <laughs> hey, that's a win win right there. So you're getting out of the kitchen. Sure. And I think uh, Bonnie and Chris are trying to find a way to come back in this game here. Is it, is it still tied? I uh, know it's. I've got five six okay. two. Excuse me, six five two. All right. We've got a mixed Side out. So scale okay. three point five six one is what I have. Nine match on court number thirteen. The referee for the match is Mike. It is Marlo Dwell and Eric Dwell versus Melissa Yeoman and Stacy Summers. That's Yeoman Summers versus Dwell and Dwell. Court number thirteen with the referee Mike. Our next match will be a mixed doubles skill, 3.58 uh, to 49. They both swung and miss. The referee for Great the match shot. will be Rum. Oh boy, court number 14 I thought McGregor left one. It was going to be pretty cut. attackable. Yes. It will be Katie Allen and Joseph yes. Allen. 5-6-2. Yes. Versus Michelle Nay Bonnie asked if she was the correct server. That's you May can do that in pickleball if you're not sure. If you're Allen the correct server, you can ask the referee court 14, and get a yes or no answer. But the referee is Rum. Burger with service here, 6 5 1. Nice response there by McGregor. Tried to lift it. And Williams came right back with it. Bonnie thought that was ball was just a little bit higher than it was to attack. Five, one. Oh, she wish she could have that one back. So now you see Dawson McGregor coming up. And this one lifted out of play. Another point awarded eight, five, one. 
You know, Chris is trying to find her uh, mojo there, but when you when you're you're not getting any balls, it's hard to stay fresh and it's hard to stay ready when the ball does finally come to you. Another timeout taken here, the final one of the match for Williams. One more announcement and for a mixed double three. It will be Joe Frasca and Bill Nuno. Eight, five, one. Cole Jennifer Dawson, Cammie McGregor, leading Bonnie Cole Williams, Chris Anderson. They're three points away Nuno, from capturing seven, a the championship George. in the Senior Women's Pro Double Final. And a nice purse to go with the winnings. I think the amount thing depends on Our the number of registrations. I'm not sure what the number is. Well, I know when Court I did this a couple five, years ago, some of those purses got pretty big. You mentioned nice purse. Even not knowing what it is, I know it's going to be a good amount. For at least a couple thousand. Right, right. their success in this tournament. Versus Lindquist. One of the better Aya. tournaments in the country. Five, obviously, the purse represents that. Cammy let one loose and just relaxed and just swung away. <laughs> Nine five two. Nine five two. Our score here in game number two. Now we're able to come up. Stayed back for quite a while. We saw that in that first game. Another point, and now we've got match point. Ten five two, match point here for Dawson and McGregor. There it is. And there it is. Your champions, the gold medal winners out of the senior women's pro double, Jennifer Dawson and Cammy McGregor, winning eleven nine and ten five. Stephanie, your final thoughts on this bracket, but also the championship. Ah, oh, some tough competition. I was a part of it myself, and I had to play. Uh, Bonnie and uh, Chris, and they were tough as nails. And uh, we have to mention that Jennifer uh, LaCour and Alex Hander took the bronze medal earlier, and we had a great showdown against them earlier. It was so much fun. Great teams here representing senior women's 50 plus doubles here, and uh, it was just my pleasure to join you, Dane. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's been fun, Stephanie. Thank you for all your insight and your contribution, and look forward to more of it. Congratulations to Jennifer Dawson, Kim McGregor. Gold medal winner out of our senior women's pro double.